what helped you find fulfillment? Yeah, that's a great, that is a, a great question. I, I, it wasn't about me. The best, the best thing I can frame it as is when I started the podcast, it wasn't about me. I had no idea how to make money to a detriment. I wasn't focused on that. I was focused on if I have a great conversation and somebody is impacted, awesome. Like I'm doing something good. So fulfillment, I think you find it by not doing what you like, but doing something that you're always grateful you did after. Mm -hmm. I think that is such a unique perspective where I love Netflix as much as the, the next person. My wife and I, I worked a 12, 13 hour day yesterday. We watched an hour of Netflix. Netflix can make me happy. But if I watch Netflix for 12 hours, I am not going to be fulfilled because I'm going to regret it. So I would say, if you can ask yourself a simple question, what do I want to do that I know makes me feel good, but I don't regret after? That's question one. Question two is, what is something I don't really want to do, but I know I'll be grateful I did after? The gym is a great example right? Like it's fulfilling to pour into your own health, but it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks when you, the alarm goes off. But if you're always grateful you did it, you're on the path to fulfillment. And the last thing I would say, Catherine, is you have to reflect on your past. Mm. What are the things that you, what are the things that you were always drawn to? Like um, one of the examples I use, my, my business partner's girlfriend went to the Great Barrier Reefs. She found out the Great Barrier Reefs or Great Barrier Cemetery, unfortunately. And that became part of her purpose. So will she be fulfilled if she is adding value to the environment? Yes, because she believes she's on a quest to improve something that in reality will never actually get finished. I think that's kind of a good measure for fulfillment. 